Hello students, this is a little simulation on phase change. We need to pay attention to two things as we heat this ice. This is ice in a glass and we can see the molecules in the ice and pay attention to the behavior of these molecules. If you look really close, you can see what they're doing. Notice they're not moving all over the glass. They're staying in place, but in place, they're vibrating back and forth. Why? That's right, because they only have a little bit of energy. We're gonna turn the stove on and heat the ice. As the ice heats, we want to pay attention to the behavior of the molecules, and we wanna watch the temperature. I'll pause a few times as we go through so we can talk about it. So now the stove is on, and notice that the ice is heating up. And just now it started to shrink a little bit. As we added heat energy to the ice, it was all ice, there were no changes, but the molecules vibrated faster. And as the vi molecules vibrated faster because they had more energy, the temperature was increasing. But then it got to the point where the ice started to melt. It just started to melt when I paused it. So let's watch this ice melt. So as the ice melts, we can see two things. Number one, those molecules are becoming more free to move around. The bonds between these solid molecules, the bonds between from molecule to molecule are breaking. And so these molecules are becoming more free. And that's why they can flow around each other in the liquid. Also notice, as these bonds are breaking, look at what's happening to the temperature. Let's continue watching the temperature. As that ice continues to melt and these bonds are breaking, what is the temperature doing up here? Is it going up, going down, or staying the same? That's right. That whole time these bonds are breaking and it changes from solid to liquid, notice the temperature stays the same. Let's continue watching. At, once the ice is completely melted and all of those bonds are broken, now what we see is the water molecules start to move faster. So pay attention to the behavior of the molecules. They're moving faster, they have more energy, they move faster. As they're moving faster, notice what is happening to the temperature. So as those molecules move faster, the temperature is increasing right? And then those molecules get to the point where they have so much energy, they start to escape and change from a liquid to a gas. Once it is changing from a liquid to a gas, not only are they escaping, but that temperature stays the same. Because again, some mild, um, weak bonds between these molecules are breaking, and as those bonds break and those molecules become completely free, then that temperature stays the same. Once it is completely a gas and there's no liquid left, notice that temperature starts to go up again because now the molecules are moving faster again. All right, let's go back to our lab.